Okay, so to create our sound, we're actually going to need these two tools and our fettling knife. Um, the first thing is when we're doing this, we want to kind of find the center here, and we're going to take the one that has a pointed edge, and we're going to um, push it through. Now, I want to make certain, so you remember that this, if I were to cut this open, there's a wall here, right? We want to make certain that we're farther back from the thickness of that wall. If I were to do it up here, okay, the wall is thicker than that, and I wouldn't have the opening. We want to find that hollow part. So I'm going to do it down here, and again, I'm just going to kind of push that through. And you'll feel, once you've gone through, you'll feel it kind of give, and that's where you've reached that hollow part. Okay? And then I like to just kind of re-tap it, make certain it's in there nice and secure. And then I'm going to use this piece. This helps to kind of visualize where this is inside. So I'm going to line those up. And then back here, I'm going to just lightly draw that line. Okay? I just want to be able to see where it's at. Because I'm now going to cut the hole. But again, um, this piece of that pinch putt, there's a thickness to it. So if I cut up here, I'm going to be in that thickness. And there's no, it's not hollow. So I'm going to cut back here a little bit further. I want to make certain I'm far enough that I am back from that wall and I'm just going to cut out a little piece about that thick. Okay, and then I'm going to scoop that little piece out and I'm going to clean it out. So you just want to be real gentle with this because you don't want to lose too much clay inside of it or it'll rattle around. Of course, then you'll have a whistle and a maraca, right? So I'm going to clean that up. Now the clay is actually really wet right now. Um, so when I eventually go to pull this out, chances are the clay will collapse into it and that's okay. Um, we'll clean that out later. Now we're going to take this beveled edge, that straight edge, and from the back, toward the mouthpiece. We are going to push this down. Do you see how I'm angled? I'll show you this way. I'm angled, so it's a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to push down towards that front. Sometimes I'll hold this end, especially if my clay is super soft. So it's now at a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to use my fettling knife again, and I'm going to cut that extra piece of clay out. And I'm just going to lift it out. So I've got that piece of clay there. So you see how that edge goes in at an angle? And now I'm just going to kind of clean this up a little bit. Now before I take this piece out, I again, you'll see me doing this a lot, I'm re-flattening it. And then I'm going to kind of clean it again. I went in at the edge, pulling it straight. Now, as I pull this out, if the clay is too moist, you're going to pull clay from back here into the mouthpiece. Um, and that's okay. It just won't make any sound right away. And I see that I do have clay on my um, tongue depressor there. So I'm going to try to very carefully take some of that clay out to prevent it from going into the mouthpiece as much as possible. Now, I'm willing to bet I have clay in the mouthpiece and when I blow on it, no sound will come out. So there's no sound yet. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the other end of this straight tool because it's nice and dry. And I'm now going to push that back in the opening. And as I do, I'm pushing some of that extra clay through. So I'm going to start to scrape that out of there, being really careful not to hit the, um, see how much clay I took out? Um, being very careful not to hit that 45 degree angle. 
and then again before I take it out I tap it against and I might have to do that a couple times because the clay is nice and moist Let's see if I get any sound yet we're getting there So I just keep doing that, cleaning out little bits at a time until I get all that extra clay out of there. I dropped that piece down into it. I might want to redo my 45 degree angle. A little bit of sound there we're getting there you just keep repeating this process till all of that wet clay has gotten out of there I'm gonna let you continue to work on that and then we'll show you what it sounds